Have you ever wanted to see what a haunted house is like, but from the comfort of your own home? In this video, we're taking a whistle-stop tour through some of the most terrifying and mysterious places on Earth. From islands full of creepy dolls to forests full of disappearances, these are the 20 most haunted places in the world. The Old Melbourne Jail, Australia You would normally associate Australia as a warm country, but within these walls, things get quite chilling. The Old Melbourne Jail has witnessed 133 executions and detained some of the most vicious and gruesome killers the country has ever seen. The institution was closed in the 1920s, so there's been no living inmate in the prison for a hundred years. But if you go into cell 17, it's almost as if one of the inmates is still inside. The prison is open for tours, but tour guides have seen people leaving this cell flooded with tears. Apparently, they felt something gripping their throat and were unable to breathe. Others have claimed that they've been scratched or had their clothes tugged on while inside. The reports also have a strange pattern. Men who have experienced strange occurrences feel like they're being pushed out of the cell, whereas women have felt like they're being dragged further in. And the strange thing is, nobody knows why it's in this particular cell that's caused so much spine-tingling sensations. People have speculated that maybe a particularly nasty person used to live in this cell and has stayed here in the afterlife. Many have suggested that the executions led to many spirits never leaving the prison. The most vicious and notorious killer to be executed in this prison was Ned Kelly. He was a bush ranger and was known for killing several police officers and soldiers. Frederick Bailey Deeming was another infamous inmate. As an Englishman living in Australia, his crimes were so despicable that many people believed that he was, in fact, Jack the Ripper, who fled London to move to Australia and continued his killing spree down under. And this may be a stretch, but the fact that Jack the Ripper only went after women, and this cell seems to be dragging women inside, may be more than a coincidence. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. Next up is our missing topic. And this picture we have for you has really freaked us out. In the olden times, the harvest was associated with the occult and the other world. Farmers felt that they were in the fate of Mother Nature, and often sacrifices were made to appease the gods. This photo emerged from a book from the 1980s in a book called Secrets of the Occult and is captioned with the words, Sacrifices Must Be Made. So, what on earth is going on in this photo? Are we right to think that these are real-life humans? and real heads across the fields? In the case of the ancient Egyptians, they often used figurines instead of human sacrifices, and this could be the case here too. Let's hope that's what it is. But we need to get your thoughts on this. Let us know in the comments below what you think. You make sure to insert the hashtag missing topic because we're intrigued to see what you guys come up with. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? St. George's Church, Czech Republic Lukova is a sleepy village where little or nothing ever happened, until a few years ago when the whole world had its sights on its famous church. In the center of Lukova village is St. George's Church, which local Christians would flock to every Sunday. In 1968, the roof collapsed, and it's been abandoned ever since. None of the locals could afford to fix the damage that had been done. In 2012, a local resident decided to do something a bit different. He hired a local art student and got him to create plaster models of people and place them across the church. He then covered them with sheets and made them look like ghosts. These ghosts are supposed to represent the Sudeten Germans, who once lived in this part of the Czech Republic, but were thrown out after World War II. The most likely moved into Germany, but these ghost-like figures help represent the people who once lived there. And this creepy exhibition gained so much attention that they raised enough to fix this church and gained itself a brand new tourist attraction. This is an incredibly nice experiment, but we want to dig into places that are really haunted. The Catacombs of Paris, France When you visit Paris, you will probably take a glossy stroll past the Eiffel Tower and the Arc de Triomphe, but there's a dark and deeply unsettling side to this city and not many people know about it. In this disturbing tour of Paris, we'll be taking a look at the Catacombs of Paris. In the 18th century, the city's cemeteries were crowded, so instead of building more graveyards, they designed an underground resting place for the remains of deceased Parisians. The underground building itself is weirdly encapsulating and a popular site for dark tourism, and in the 1990s, a group of people walking through noticed a video camera on the ground. 
so they curiously picked up this camera. Nobody was around and there was nowhere to hand it in, so they decided to see what was on it. On the tape, they saw blurry footage of someone in the catacombs, as well as some disturbing noises. They saw the terror on a man's face who wanted to get out of the place but could not. The footage ends abruptly with the camera being dropped to the ground. Almost 30 years on, nobody knows whether this man has managed to get out alive. It's rumored that he was inside the building after midnight, which is strongly warned against. This is apparently when the spirits come alive and the walls begin to speak. This could explain the disturbing noises heard in the footage. It could also explain the madness he experienced too. Some say that his voice is now heard after midnight and he's become one of the spirits. Hotuan Village, Xingshan Island In the 1980s, Hotuan Village in China had 3,000 residents. By the 1990s, everyone had gone. It's not crystal clear why this village was abandoned. Many believe that it's just so remote and difficult to access that it just wasn't worth living there. Access to education, health care, and essential services was hard to come by. And as one family left, this meant it was more difficult for everyone to leave behind. And there was a domino effect of people gradually leaving, with little or no people left. However, in recent years, this abandoned village has undergone a bit of a renaissance. In the absence of humans, nature has flourished and all of these abandoned houses have been covered in beautiful greenery. The village looks like something from a post-apocalyptic horror movie. And so, the people who stayed within this village are now reaping the rewards, as this abandoned village has ironically become a tourist hotspot. Al Madam, United Arab Emirates, Ghost Town Far away from the bright lights of Dubai and Abu Dhabi is an abandoned town. It's a village that the UAE Tourism Board doesn't want you or anyone else to visit. Rumors have circulated that something known as jinn were responsible for everyone leaving the town. A jinn is a nasty or evil spirit in Muslim culture. Some say that it was a series of jinns that forced residents out of the area. Others contend that it was a female jinn named Um al Duais, who's said to have cat eyes and machetes for hands and comes from Emirati folklore. When the Sarja Art Foundation tried to settle this once and for all and found out why they left, they had more questions than answers. None of the residents who used to live there could be found. They wanted to dismiss the idea of evil spirits and believe that it was simply the sandstorms and fierce winds that drove everyone away. But the mystery lingers on. Poveglia Island, Italy Off the coast of northern Italy is Poveglia, an island that contains many secrets of Italy's dark past. In the 5th century, this was actually a palace of refuge. If Italy faced an invasion from its enemies, this island was a great place to hide. But in the 1300s and following the Black Death, it went from a place of refuge to a place of impending death. To help control the spread of this infectious disease, the infected, diseased and dying were shipped on this island. For many, they were thrown onto the island to die. Fast forward to the 1800s and things got even darker. This island soon became an insane asylum. At that time, mental illnesses were not given the same level of dignity that they were today, and people with these illnesses were simply transported to this island to keep them out of the way and brush them under the carpet. Since then, a series of paranormal activities have occurred on the island. The Venetian authorities wanted to redevelop the island, but could not because they always experienced something strange every time they did. The people who were brought to this island and left to die are believed to still haunt this place today. The Sally House, Kansas This house was originally owned by a doctor, but what started out as a doctor's surgery and home turned into something truly frightening. One day, a woman rushed in with her daughter, who was suffering from severe abdominal pain. The doctor believed that she had appendicitis and needed surgery right away, as it could soon burst. The surgery was sadly unsuccessful, and she passed away. But the six-year-old girl was in so much pain and in such a state of confusion and disarray that she did not know that the doctor was performing surgery on her. The anesthesia did not work properly, and she interpreted the doctor's work as him trying to torture her. So ever since, she's haunted this very house. Sometimes fires would break out. Sometimes the operating table would grow cold. And sometimes the doctor would feel abdominal pain of his own. They also noticed the dog angrily growling at a certain corner of the room as if it felt a strange presence in the house. Trained guide dogs have even refused to enter the house. The house would never be the same again. Fengdu Ghost City In China is the city of ghosts and one of the few haunted places on earth with a message. This city reveals the ancient law of karma, that those who do good things will be rewarded and those who do bad things will be punished. The city contains shrines, 
temples and monasteries dedicated to the dead. The place dates back thousands of years to the Han Dynasty when two officials decided to run from civilization and live a bohemian lifestyle. It's believed that during this time they became immortal. The place contains images that represent good and evil. There are terrifying ghosts and demons that resemble what's coming to people who had led a bad life. The message is that those who live an immoral life will be punished in the afterlife. An horrible fate awaits them if they don't change their ways. The enormous face seen on the hill is known as the Ghost King, and it's the largest rock sculpture ever, according to Guinness World Records. The Ghost King, which was 138 meters high and around 217 meters broad, can be viewed from every part of the city. Chateau de Brissac, France Chateau de Brissac is the tallest castle in France and has one of the most chilling stories. It was owned by King Charles VII of France, who had a dark little secret. Charles was not always faithful to his wife and had a mistress named Agnes Sorrel. And through his affair, they had a daughter named Charlotte de Brézé. But despite these circumstances, Charlotte was liked very much by the Queen of France and upon reaching adulthood, she was set to marry a nobleman named Jacques de Brézé. But in those days, marriage was less about love and more about cementing your status in society. Charlotte found herself in a loveless marriage with no way out. On May 31st, 1477, Jacques was awoken in the middle of the night. His wife was not in his room and he could hear noises from another room. In this room, he saw his wife having an affair. In a fit of rage, he murdered both of them there and then. Jacques had to move out of this castle soon after. He could still hear voices from the wife and her lover, voices which are still heard in this castle today. Charlotte has been spotted numerous times roaming about the castle and because of her green dress, is today known as the Green Lady. Sathorn Unique Tower In Bangkok, Thailand, the Sathorn Unique was meant to be a symbol of Thailand's prosperity. This huge building was supposed to house international and local businesses and further boost its booming economy. But in 1997, Thailand's economy went from boom to bust. The situation was so bad that they halted construction on this building and nobody has worked on it ever since. It's now a 49-story ghost tower. Over the years, many myths and superstitions began to emanate. It's rumored that this was built on an ancient burial ground and was doomed to fail from the start. But things got too real in 2014 when the body of a Swedish backpacker was found on the 43rd floor and it's believed that he took his own life. It's become a hotspot for urban explorers, but the Thai authorities are doing their best to make sure nobody wanders up this tower. Something incredibly sinister is going on and it's unclear whether this is just limited to the 43rd floor. Leap Castle, Ireland Leap Castle in Ireland boasts itself as the world's most haunted castle. Following the death of their father, brothers Thaddeus and Tej O'Connell were arguing over who would inherit this castle. Typically, it would go to the older brother, which happened to be Thaddeus. So Tej knew that the only thing standing in the way of himself and this castle was his older brother and he needed to be taken care of. Thaddeus was a priest and was saying mass in the chapel of the castle. He was preaching the word of God but something from the devil was possessed inside his brother. Tej walked in and stabbed his own brother to death. And from this day on, this is known as the Bloody Chapel. It's believed that Thaddeus' ghost still inhabits this building. Passersby have sometimes noticed a light on in the building, even when nobody has been there. But the O'Carrolls had an even darker secret hiding beneath these walls. They once had an army which needed to be trained, and another army of 40 men was hired to train them in the methods of warfare. Once they were trained up, these 40 men were given a feast at the castle. But little did these 40 men know that the O'Carrolls had no intention of paying them. In fact, the feast they had just eaten contained poison, and they would not live another day. And in a secret dungeon near the Bloody Chapel, 40 skeletons were found. The castle was partially burnt down during the Irish Civil War. However, it's since been restored, but the locals don't go near this place after dark. Enunaki Tunnel In Japan, the authorities have boarded up what's known as the Enunaki Tunnel. They don't want anyone going in there anymore and for good reason. During the 1970s, a young couple drove up along Mount Enunaki. They needed to get to the other side of the mountain and the best way to do this was to pass through the Inunaki Tunnel. But right before they could enter the tunnel, their car broke down. They saw a path on the side of the road, so they decided to walk down and seek help. But when they looked around properly, they realized that nobody lived in the village. All of the buildings were abandoned. 
They were about to turn back until standing in the middle of the road was a stranger who howled, Welcome to Inunaki Village. Within an instant, the young couple were in peril. The man of the couple had his throat slit while the woman ran away. When looking closer at the abandoned buildings, she realized that there were people in this village, but they were no longer living. She was killed soon afterwards and became another resident of Inunaki Village. Oyabashu Forest, Romania Transylvania in Romania was the home of the fictional character of Dracula. However, this blood-sucking vampire was named after a real-life man named Vlad the Impaler. And in Transylvania is a place named Hoya Forest. This has been referred to as the Bermuda Triangle of Transylvania because of the strange occurrences which have happened in this very place. In the 1960s, a biologist named Alexandru Sift photographed a flying object above the forest. After this event, a series of strange and surreal events started to happen. A shepherd went missing and was never found again. But even more bizarrely, he traveled with 200 sheep who were never seen again either. There was also a five-year-old girl who went missing. Five years later, she was thankfully found. But in a strange twist of events, she was wearing the exact same clothes and had not aged a single day. A woman also disappeared and came back with a 15th century coin in her pocket. The forest has something sinister going on inside, but as for what, who, and how this is, nobody knows. The Winchester Mystery House, California California is known for its earthquakes. However, in the Winchester Mystery House, things have been known to move about the house despite no earthquake taking place at all. The Victorian mansion was built by owner Sarah Party Winchester. She was the wealthy heiress to the Winchester rifle, and she believed that she was haunted by the ghosts of people who were killed by this weapon. She believed that this giant house would appease those spirits. She deliberately built a house for the wandering dead. She built 13 bedrooms, 13 bathrooms, and 13 windows, and this number is apparent all across the house. An urban legend circulated that Winchester would hold night seances in the Blue Room on her own every night and discuss the building of the mansion with other spirits. Long after her death, this house continued to be visited, but its guests of the undead don't seem to have left. Visitors have witnessed the sounds of footsteps and windows slamming, as well as strange cooking smells and odd sounds. It's the sound of whispering that's really freaked people out. Perhaps Miss Winchester has now become a spirit herself. La Recoleta Cemetery, Buenos Aires La Recoleta Cemetery is a beautiful place to walk around in Buenos Aires and contains some of the most magnificent tombstones imaginable. However, if you hear the jangling of keys on a quiet day, make sure that you're not on your own. These are the keys of a former gravedigger and caretaker who took his own life while working on this site. But the most mysterious figure on this site is La Dama de Blanco, or the Lady in White. As the story goes, a young man met a beautiful woman near where the site is located. Their date went well, and like a true gentleman, he gave her his jacket to keep her from getting cold. However, she spilled some drink on it and promised to clean it for him and have it nice and clean for the next time they met. He was thrilled by this new amazing woman that had entered his life. The next day, he went to collect his jacket. Answering the door was the woman's mother. She was confused and thought he was playing some sort of sick joke. The woman he had met last night had passed away. And not only that, she passed away many years ago and was buried at La Raquileta Cemetery. The young man got so traumatized by this news that he later killed himself as well. Some other men went on dates with this woman in white. Some even followed her home and noticed that she would walk through the cemetery and disappear. The death of the gravedigger may even be tied to the mysterious woman as well. The Catacombs of Palermo, Italy On the beautiful island of Sicily is a truly gruesome building. Like the Catacombs of Paris, there are catacombs in Palermo. It was the same set of circumstances where the graveyards were too full. Initially, that place was reserved for monks at the monastery. Then as members of the public were buried, they began mummifying the bodies and making their burials more extravagant. Inside these catacombs is a truly terrifying experience. There are roughly the remains of 5,000 people inside, and you cannot look anywhere without making eye contact with a skeleton. And there's a deep and dark secret within these walls. Most people pass away when they're very old, but there's a suspicious number of child skeletons. There's even a child chapel reserved for children who seem to have died all around the same time within these walls. The Island of the Dolls, Mexico You've heard about haunted mansions, 
What about haunted islands? Just south of Mexico City is the Island of the Dolls. Fifty years ago, a man named Santano Barrera saw a little girl swimming by the banks of the river. But suddenly, he noticed a strong current carrying her away, and he immediately went over to try and save her. But before he could swim fast enough, she was taken away. She drowned, and Barrera believed that it was his fault. All that was left of this girl was her toy doll, which he decided to hang on the tree in her memory. And there are two variations of why this doll appeared here. Either Barrera wanted to protect himself from the spirit of this girl, or he wanted to protect the girl's spirit from the other evil spirits lurking in the shadows. According to local legends, Barrera continued to hear voices and screams throughout the island, so he acquired more dolls. Eventually, the entire island was full of dolls, all to keep the demons at bay. But another theory holds that an even more surreal event has occurred. Many believe that Barrera was haunted by the spirit of this girl and has since been possessed by her, and she lived on through him and placed many nice dolls around the island. Highgate Cemetery, England And now the cemetery which inspired the story of Dracula. Dracula is based on Vlad the Impaler, who lived in Romania. But the story of Dracula was written by an Irishman named Bram Stoker, who lived in London at the time and was both fascinated and terrified by Highgate Cemetery. But long after Stoker was dead in the 1960s and 70s, a series of mysterious sightings were reported from this very site, and the description of the sightseeing was very unsettling. They mentioned a tall man with a dark cloak and burning eyes. Dead animals were found all across the cemetery, and rather suspiciously, all of these dead animals had been drained of their blood. The fictional creature of Dracula had seemingly come to life. Eventually, a mob of people invaded the cemetery and carried out an exorcism and searched for this ghastly creature in every corner. In fact, one man was arrested one night for carrying a crucifix and a stake in the hopes of killing the vampire. A rivalry began between David Ferrant and Sean Manchester over which one of them was going to kill the vampire. They were expected to have a magician's duel on the top of Parliament Hill, but this apparently never happened. The vampire was never found, but its sighting alone seemed to have brought out the worst in everybody. The Door to Hell, Turkmenistan In Turkmenistan is what's known as the Door to Hell. It's a continuously burning crater, and nobody knows why. Turkmenistan was formerly part of the Soviet Union, and it's believed that a Soviet oil rig fell into this pit in 1971. To get rid of this, a geologist decided to set it on fire, and over 50 years later, the fire is still burning. It's a difficult place to find, and Turkmenistan in Central Asia is not a traditional tourist spot. There are no roads leading up to this place, and guides are needed to bring you here without getting lost. But along with National Geographic, the explorer George Coronis was the first person to step inside, and he could confirm the original story that this was simply an abandoned oil rig that caught fire. He talks about how you can hear the roaring fire when you arrive close by, and how the heat is simply unbreakable. He describes going down through the door to hell as incredibly intimidating, and an orange hue surrounds him absolutely everywhere. He said that it was closer to being on Mars than anywhere else on Earth. The Stanley Hotel, Colorado The Stanley Hotel, Colorado inspired Stephen King to write The Shining, but sometimes reality is stranger than fiction. Sometimes no horror fiction writers can match what really happened in this world. This building was founded by Freeland Oscar Stanley, a famous and well-respected inventor. But after his death, the hotel became worn down and suffered from disrepair. In the 1970s, it was visited by Stephen King and his family who had visited towards the end of the summer season and when the hotel was vacant. They believed that they were the only guests in the hotel that night. After a night out at the restaurant and bar, the King family went back to their room, number 217. That night, Stephen had a horrifying dream a dream where a coiled fire hose came to life and chased his screaming son down the halls of the hotel. He went out for a cigarette and, while engaged in deep thought, came up with the story of The Shining. But 60 years beforehand, something truly creepy happened within these walls. The valley experienced a flood which caused a power outage in the hotel. Freeland Stanley decided to give a gas lantern to each guest to provide some light for their rooms. However, this caused a buildup of gas to leak into one of the rooms. And inside this gas-filled room, a chambermaid decided to light a candle. And this set off an explosion inside the room. 
Since then, this chambermaid is still believed to inhabit this room. And would you care to guess which room number it was? Room 217. That brings us to the end of the video. If you like more interesting tales of the strange and surreal, make sure to subscribe to the channel. But for now, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Mm-hmm.